shirts. I see a couple good t-shirts. You mm -hmm. know, t-shirts are fine. Why don't you pull out like your go-to outfit? Like what? Okay. You wake up in the morning. What's the first thing you're gonna grab? Okay. So my go-to outfits. The truth of what I go to are like shirts that like t-shirts first of all okay. and ones that are kind of loose mm -hmm. because I'm nervous about my muffin tops okay. so that's like what I go to but it's not my favorite stuff it's just what I go to okay you know what I mean like if I were to show you what's like my favorite t shirt I have in here mm -hmm. it'd probably be more like this one that's a great shirt yeah but I never wear it why so it's the same thing. It's like I ha like because it's too special. Like I'm saving it for something, and I don't feel like this is what you wear on a day to day. I wear t-shirts on a day to day. Do you know that you can have a whole wardrobe where you like everything and everything's special? It's a mental block for it's me. It's a mental I, block. I, know I mean, it. this is just a. This is the same as a t-shirt. It's made of the same freaking material. Mm -hmm. It's stretchy. It's comfortable. Wear this instead of a t-shirt. Okay. Make every day a day that you feel special. If you don't feel as awesome in your, <laughs> if you don't feel as awesome in this, why are you gonna wear it? Yeah. Just wear this instead. Right. Yeah. So, and this actually is good for the muffin tops. Exactly. I was just gonna say that. I know. With I just this, realized that. With this little peplum, it's gonna hide any imperfection that you don't want to show. Yeah. These diagonal lines are very slimming. Mm hmm This is the winner. Okay. I love this shirt. Okay. So this is fun. Like you okay. can wear this with like black skinny jeans but here's the thing like step it up a little tiny bit so okay. wear like a colorful cardigan or like a little leather jacket or maybe throw a scarf on or something something right. to make it like I actually put this outfit right. together instead of like my gym clothes right okay I have a lot of these like square shirts yeah okay so the sh this color that you're wearing is great okay uh -huh. looks great on you the shirt overall it's fine I would avoid continuing to buy things like this because if you're worried about this area here I am like I'm already tugging on it yeah you're just a square and you should <laughs> you know if you pull this back you have like a waist right and you actually look slimmer if you wear something that at least hints at a curve of your body right not just like Spongebob <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude, it's like all t-shirts. Oh, no. Just, no. Just a ton of t-shirts. You got to put these in a drawer. And some of these, like... Okay, this, there's a reason for this. Okay. This is like a promo shirt from a movie that I'm producing. So it, this is a joke. It shouldn't be in the closet. Yeah. So this is a cute shirt. Uh -huh. However, a white shirt is a staple. You're going to want to wear this shirt for years and years to come. Right. You can splurge and buy a good one because guess what? Even though you spent twenty dollars on this, yeah, this will be ruined after you wash it. Right, you're right. And you should have just spent eighty dollars, a hundred dollars on a white shirt that you can wear literally for the next five years. Right, it's cost per wear. Right. Oh, the allure of the six dollar shirt. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was kind of cute, like polka dots. Again, I like the polka dots. Look at this on you. Not good? The colors are atrocious on you. Really? It's not good. Okay. For someone who likes purples, see how the royal blue looks so great on you? Makes your eyes pop, makes your skin look great. This... Washes me out. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. Okay. Not a good deal. All right. You could have bought yourself a, a sandwich for this. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been much more delicious. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about pants. Yeah. Let's talk about pants. So what what are what are the pants that you feel most comfortable in? Okay, so I'm most comfortable in stretchy, skinny jeans, because mm -hmm. that's just what I have. Yeah. Um, I'd like a pair of boyfriend jeans, but I don't have one yet. But I've seen you wear them, and they look cute. Um, but, I, I, yeah, I think just like this. These okay. are what I'm most comfortable in. Mm-hmm. Um, what are th what are these okay. type of pants so, here? So again to the the <laughs> again with the fantasy. Okay. So did you ever see that movie uh, Vicky Cristina Barcelona? Yeah. You know how they like wear these like linen clothes mm -hmm. and like they seem like they're on vacation all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's what these are. These are my vacation pants. No, these are not okay. Silhouette, all wrong. These are just big, dumpy pants. Oh. You can wear like a little cargo pant uh -huh. that's in this olive color and it could look really cute. 
Okay. But they have to be a little more fitted. This right. is just lazy. Oh. So these are Like not for everyone or just me? No, just for you. Oh, okay. They're like, come on. I mean, think about that movie. They're, they can wear whatever. And right. it's probably been tailored. Yeah. And right. no. Again, it's like I see it and then yeah. I want it. But here's the thing. You can be inspired by movies and different people's style, but it has to be adapted to suit your body type, your right. lifestyle, your own personal style. You can't just take something like, oh, yeah, I'm going to look just like the movie. But you can be inspired by that. So we could find you pants that give that feel. Right. But are flattering. Right. And look good. Yeah. And make you feel good. Okay. And what are these? Okay. So these are Mad Men pants again. Okay. I was like, Peggy would wear these. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And, cute. And so the problem with this is like with flats, I feel like I look like a soccer mom. I was just about to. <laughs> and even I know I'm suddenly wearing like mm -hmm. soccer mom pants. Um, and I just never wear heels. And then the biggest problem is, is I have no idea what top to wear with this. Right. So I've never worn these. Here's what I would do. Okay. And that's what I do with all my clients. If you have a piece that's cute, it fits well, and you're just stumped on it. Yeah. I'm taking this with me. Okay. And when I go shopping for you, I'm going to shop around this piece. Okay. And if we still can't pull it together. Then it's out. Then it's out. Okay. Okay. So, what's this here? Okay, those are... <laughs> okay, back to the beach girl thing. Those are all what they're... They're called Ia Lava Lavas, or other people would call them sarongs. Okay. It's a pile of sarongs. Okay, you don't need your sarongs <laughs> to be, like, so <laughs> easily accessible. Okay. You see uh, this dresser here? Yeah, 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 okay. It's like, beach clothes, t-shirts big stack of sarongs <laughs> like don't need to be accessed okay. every day yeah so you're like, right okay. those should not be here what's this those are those are winter scarves okay what season are we in right we're now? we're in summer those are like hidden behind put them my away. door okay hide them behind the door put them in a little box slide it under your bed okay. like you don't need those right now yeah we got jeans here yeah those are just a bunch of jeans okay it looks like a respectable amount of jeans yeah, the truth is most of those don't work for me. Oh, um, <laughs> the truth comes out. Yeah, okay. so this is actually inspired by you. I saw you once with jeans where you had cut off the bottom, mm -hmm. and you told me that they were straight-legged. Yeah. And so I took a pair of straight-legged jeans and cut off the bottom, and I look like a clown in them, so I can't wear these. <laughs> um, but I was literally <laughs> trying to channel some Lauren Messiah. It looks like you cut them with, like, a <laughs> box opener. <laughs> Not even cut straight. <laughs> and it just doesn't look the same on me as it did you. Oh, okay. This is something to talk about. Okay. I wanted to get in on the hammer pants style a little bit. <laughs> and so just as a taste test, I bought these <laughs> pants. But I'm not sure if I'm allowed to wear these. What do you think? I see all the kids wearing them and I, you know what it is? It's like, it goes back to that comfort thing that I like. Mm -hmm. And these I felt like are pajamas you're allowed to wear outside. Right. Yeah, the pajama trend is kind of like a no. little bit over right now. Okay. And I just, I don't, they're not you. Like, right. That's the, that's the bitch about trends. You know, it's like you see them, they look good, you want a part of it. And it doesn't always work. Like, if you really like the pajama trend, like, maybe we could do a cool top with, like, skinny jeans and some little heels okay. to dress it up. But, like, sometimes, like, it's just the harsh reality of, like, God damn it, I'm in my 30s and I can't wear this shit anymore. So. Gone. It's got to go. That's sad. Okay, we made it through your closet. Yeah, it's like. How do you feel? You've actually made it easier for me to get dressed each day because you got rid of so much <laughs> that at least the few things I still have I know are like decent until I am ready to do the rest of the makeover and go shopping. Yeah. So it's like it's scary to let go of some of the things that I've sort of kept as a security blanket, but like even I know I'm, I look bad in them. <laughs> so I guess there's like some relief to knowing yeah. that whatever I choose out of the closet now is... Lauren approved. Right. And here's yeah. the deal. You're not even going to give that stuff a second thought. Right. Like, in two days, you'll be like, what stupid dress? Like, you're right. not going to be like, oh, I wish I still had that thing. So 
It was good. I'm yeah. proud of you for getting rid of stuff that was never meant for you in the first place. I'm excited to like to get a new wardrobe now. Yeah, so that's the next step. Yeah. So I left you with some things to wear so you won't be running around naked <laughs> <laughs> for the next couple weeks. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to get you all new stuff. Okay. And I'll even incorporate some of the stuff that we kept so there's okay. still some ties to the old Shannon in there. Sounds good. Cool. All righty.